Hi, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate having a structure within a structure in C. I've included my header file and I've got my main function, so let's get started. So I'm going to start by creating a structure called about with the keyword struct, then about, and well, the about is the name, let me clarify that. And then we're going to have uh, a character array called personality that is up to 19 characters long, not including the null character, uh, an integer called height, and an integer called age. Okay, and I'm also going to create a struct or structure called of type character. And it's going to have a character array called name up to 19 characters long. And it's going to include this other struct of a type about, and we're going to call it description. Okay. All right. So we're going to create a struct of type character called SUP underscore character for supernatural character, my favorite TV show. And then we'll input some values into this character. So we can print F. Uh, what is the character's name? And then we'll scan F into the character array. And the way we do that is we do just soup underscore character dot name. So same way as a regular structure. And then we'll do another print F. What is the character's personality? And this is where we'll get a little bit different. And we'll scan F. This is another character array. So we're going to do a percentage sign in an S. And then we're going to do soup underscore care dot description, the name of the struct within the struct, dot personality. Okay. And then we'll do another print F. What is the character's height and inches? Okay, and then we'll do a scan F and we'll do a percentage D here. And we're gonna have to put an ampersand in front. And we'll do soup underscore character dot description dot height. Okay. And then finally, we'll do another print F statement and say, what is the character's age okay and we'll do another scan f and we'll scan an integer so we're going to need an ampersand here and then we'll do soup underscore character dot description dot age okay and then down here we'll do a print f statement and say percentage s for the character array, the name is a character with a percentage S personality who is percentage D inches tall and percentage D years old. Do a slash end at the end of here. And I don't want this line to get too long. So we'll go down here and we'll say soup underscore character dot name. It's the first thing. Then soup underscore character dot description dot personality is the next thing. And then soup underscore character dot description dot height. And then we're going to move down here a little bit more and we'll do soup underscore character dot, dot description dot h. Okay. And put a semicolon there. And then at the end of this, we will return zero. Okay. 
I'm going to save this and now let's compile. And we'll do GCC struct within struct and we'll output struct underscore within struct without the C. Okay, and now let's run it. So character's name, Dean, personality, Surly, uh, height in inches, um, let's see, six times 12 is 72, uh, age 41. Okay, so and then it prints out Dean is a character with a surly personality who is 72 inches tall and 41 years old. So this was a little video on putting a structure within a structure in C. I hope you found it informative and interesting. If you did, could you please give me a like? That'd be greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.